Hey makers, welcome to the frame build part seven for the standard and XL frames. This is attaching the chains and mounting your M2. Now here's the material you're gonna need. You're gonna need two different hardware bags as well as the 11 foot chains that come with the M2 or if you have an XL frame, you're gonna need 15 foot chains to attach it. Now we're gonna measure 15 inches in from the ends of our top beam and then an inch and a half up from the bottom and on each end there, we're gonna put a little X. That is where we're gonna hammer the nail. So go ahead and get the medium nail that's inside of our hardware bag and insert it through the last loop in the link and then hammer it into that spot on each end. Now don't hammer it all the way in. It needs to be able to move side to side because it's gonna move around. This is just to hold it to the frame. So go almost all the way in, but the chain can still move freely. And then pull it back toward the motor and then loop it toward the inside in your thumb and forefinger like so. That's because it needs to be attached to the spring here in a second. So we need to loop it toward the inside around the chain and on the top of the motor. So loop it up with your thumb and then across the top of the motor sprocket and then loop it down on the chain. Now we're gonna take our spring and our sprocket and we're going to put that in our quick link and then attach the quick link through the chain. So we kind of loop it through the chain there and then the sprocket is gonna go into that loop where your thumb and forefinger were. So you're gonna put that sprocket in the chain and then tighten the quick link with the tightened part on the outside because we don't want it to be dragging against our top beam. Now we're gonna go to the other side and put the sprocket and quick link on that side too, but this time leave the quick link open facing toward the outside because you are going to pull the spring over and then loop it inside of that quick link. And then once the, the spring is inside of there, then you can tighten it. Now be very, very careful on this step. The spring can actually snap back and it can fly across the shop and it could cause some damage or cause harm to you or pets or anything else that might be in the area. So be really careful when you're stretching the spring. That's why we have these quick links to make sure that the spring is always gonna be attached to these quick links and it won't come loose. Now we're ready to attach our M2. So go ahead and grab your M2, take the bricks off of there because we don't need that extra weight, and then the cotter pins that are found in the chain mounting hardware bag. Now we're gonna take the chain and we're gonna feed it through the roller bearing carriage. And then in the second to last link, it's very important the second to last link is in there so it's more secure, we're gonna put the cotter pin to hold it in place. And you can use your body weight to hold the M2 up against your frame and then feed the chain through the roller bearing carriage and then out the other end. And then make sure that you have the correct orientation so the flat side of the cotter pin is on the top flat side of our roller bearing carriage and then that side is attached. Once you have one side attached, you're ready to go ahead and feed the chain into the other side. Same thing goes here, the second to last link with the cotter pin, and it might help to have a friend have you hold, hand you the chain so you don't have to stretch all the way across it because you have to be careful that the chain doesn't get knocked off of the motors during this step too because that spring is on there and that tension can cause the chain to snap. Alrighty makers, once our M2 is attached to our frame, we're ready to plug everything into the do board and then start calibrating. So head on over to our resources page on our website and then the link below for those next steps and good luck cutting.